just Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, we had some strong showers and thunderstorms pass through overnight, and most of the uh, strong storms are now off to our east. We can check those out on live Pinpoint Doppler 12. Now, notice that the uh, lightning still flashing across the vineyard, eastern Massachusetts. Our strike counter is on, and you can see 270 strikes with this storm. And the good news is most of the lightning is off to our east. Not a whole lot going on out to our west in terms of lightning. However, there are some showers, thunderstorms, and downpours to our west that will be moving across our neck of the woods over the next couple of hours. So as we uh, take a look at things, you can see that the specks of yellow indicate where there are slightly heavier downpours. So we'll be watching this line right here around Norwich, Connecticut, also some showers along 395. This is all moving off to the northeast, so I do suspect for this morning will be hit or miss showers, downpours, and thunderstorms, some of which could be strong, so that's something to keep in mind. Let's take you in a little bit closer to see what's going on a little bit uh, closer to home. And as we uh, take you into the Situate Reservoir area, you can see some showers around, a few showers just south of uh, Greenville, the hometown of Catherine Sotnik, and some more showers filling in across the Rhode Island Connecticut border. So again, we'll be under the gun here for uh, at least the next several hours, possibly into 11 a.m. and to noontime in terms of the frequent showers and then we start to improve things a bit as we go into the later parts of the day. In the meantime, we take a look at the city of Providence, mostly cloudy skies. The showers which passed through earlier are gone, at least for now. The temperature is 68 degrees, dew point is 63. Winds are out of the northwest at three miles an hour. Mostly upper 60 showing up right now with 68 in Taunton, New Bedford at 67 degrees, 67 in Westerly, and Newport at 68. Essentially, there's a stalled front right over the top of us right now. So what does that mean? That means that the showers and storms use the front kind of like a train track, so we'll be right in the middle of the track for the next several hours. So you can see here's a few batches of showers and storms pushing through, and a few more of these could clip us again until about noontime or one o'clock in the afternoon. After that, the front slowly shifts down to the south, uh, moving the threat of showers down to the south. In fact, we can track that a little bit better going hour by hour with our future cast. Nine o'clock in the morning, some showers and thunderstorms possible here represented by the reds and greens. Watch what happens as we go into the noon hour, still under the gun with the chance of some frequent showers and storms. It doesn't mean rain the entire time until the noon hour, but I think uh, fairly frequent showers moving through. After that, notice what happens. That line starts to push down to the south, so by 8 o'clock tonight, yeah, there could be a few lingering showers and storms, but I think the most likely location to see that would be across southeastern Massachusetts, possibly into Newport County and uh, the south shore of Rhode Island. But the overall trend will be to improve things the later we go into the day. At the beach showers, especially this morning, temperatures in the mid-70s on the water, uh, visibility not good underneath any developing shower. High tide 8.51 in the morning, low tide 2.20 nine in the afternoon. Seven day future cast showing an improving situation tomorrow. There could be a few showers late tonight into tomorrow morning, especially across the southeastern coast of Rhode Island and the southern coast of Massachusetts. But all in all, most of tomorrow should be dry, cool and pretty comfortable, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s and with the lower humidity I don't want to get too carried away here, but maybe a taste of fall in the air by tomorrow afternoon, and then some showers around Monday night to Tuesday. Next week looks okay, kind of uh, on the comfortable side with upper 70s and low 80s. So we'll be uh, dodging some showers and storms, especially for this morning. Yeah, definitely my favorite time of the year, though, fall. I know. Love that's that why, fall air. That's why I the said. The fall activities. and Football. Yes. And then there's also football yes. and football. <laughs> we like it, Pete, yes. right? Okay, thank you so much. Now on to some more local conversations.